Nathan Hill began working at a video store in his teenage years for his uncle David, who acted in the film Quigley with Tom Selleck. He got his first break in the cult short film The Huntsman, starring David No, who went on to act in The Matrix sequels, and the film cinematographer Jamie Blanks went on to direct movies such as Urban Legend and Valentine. Nathan's first lead role was in the romantic comedy Radio Samurai, alongside Logie winner Brooke Satchwell, in which he performed many stunts wearing a tailor-made stunt vest by Jackie Chan. Following this, he played the attacking vampire in Queen of the Damned, starring Aaliyah, and was lucky enough to go to her 21st birthday party before she died. Nathan met James Wan and Shannon Young at the premiere of Stygian, and was the location scout for the short film Saw before it became a feature film franchise. He also acted as the crowd assassin in Shannon's Razor Eaters, starring AACTA winner Richard Cawthorn. Enrolling in film school, Nathan directed his first short film, The Upsell, that was a Tropfest finalist and stars Steve O'Donnell who won The Block in 2014. Whilst during film school, Nathan played the lead role in the pilot Gloom with a View that went on to win the Comedy Gold competition, and during this time had a relationship with co-star Claudia Budazzoni. He then directed his first mini feature, The Strange Game of Hide and Seek, that won Shriekfest in Los Angeles. On his first night in LA, he met childhood icon Gunnar Hansen from The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and was later sent birthday wishes from Toby Hooper, the director. Coming home, he shot his first feature film, Tom Boys, also known as Fox Force, co-starring Jenny Lovell from films such as Picnic and Hanging Rock and Gallipoli. He then got a green light from American Zotrope to shoot his mockumentary, Apocalypse Canoe, otherwise known as The Idiotacy. Gaining momentum, he followed up with his next feature film, Seance, also known as 666 Seance Hour, co-starring Sarah Lamberg, the actress from the movie Innuendo. After speaking to Roman Polanski at a screening of The Ninth Gate at MIFF, Nathan was inspired to slate his next feature film, Black Mass, starring the two Corys. Sadly, though Corey Ham passed away prematurely, and Nathan lost the funding for the project. He did stay good friends with co-star William Catt, aka The Greatest American Hero, who continued to act as a mentor to Nathan following the tragedy. William was runner-up to play Luke Skywalker in the original Star Wars and acted in such films as House and Carrie. They remain friends to this day. Dragging him out of depression, good friend and colleague Nick Levy cast Nathan in the black comedy Confessions of a Lady Killer, also known as How to Be a Sex Star. The film opened the Australian Film Festival in year one, coinciding with a Mad Max tribute screening. Back in the swing of it, he then helped to produce a charity video for White Lion, in which he directed Stefan Dennis. Nathan then entered his second renaissance by directing and co-starring in Jasper, alongside Sandy Greenwood from The Killer Elite, Logie nominee Catherine Mack from Home and Away, and Sarah Howett from TV's Gladiators. For the soundtrack, he discovered the band Ninja Academy whilst performing at the Johnny Depp nightclub Viper Room in LA. He directed and co-starred in Model Behavior alongside supermodel Stacey McMahon and helped to discover Scarlett Voss and Kaylee Williams during the process. Both ended up with speaking roles on the television show Neighbors. The cast also included his good friend, the late Dame Hill. The film won numerous awards internationally, including the California Film Awards. He produced the international award-winning short film Isabel, starring Jasper Bagg who you will see in Thor Ragnarok. After being invited to the set of Fake Hero in Beijing, Nathan was inspired to direct and co-star in Revenge of the Guilo, a film that won multiple awards, including the Indie Gathering International Film Festival. The movie co-stars actors such as Joanne Wynn from Just Between Us, and even a cameo performance from Andy McPhee. In Germany, the film is known as Drive 2, the music video to the movie includes tracks by Electro King, Laser Hawk. Nathan then performed a cameo appearance for friend Daniel Armstrong in Cheeborg Massacre and acted alongside Beverly Hills award-winning actress Verity East. He also directed a television episode of The Star Chamber with guest appearances from Richard Lowenstein and David Thrussell. 
Nathan participated in the Funny or Die competition with JCVD and cast good friend and colleague Jane Badler, Angela Kennedy from My Kitchen Rules, and Chloe G from The Very Excellent Mr. Dundee. The film also has a voiceover track by Terry Camilleri from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. He produced a masterclass video with Alex Proyas, director of films such as The Crow, Dark City, and I, Robot. In a remake of The Eye of the Devil, Nathan played the character of Sharon Tate's brother for the 2016 Monster Fest promo. He then directed and co-starred in Colorblind, starring Jane Badler. Having now collaborated on three feature films together and cast and acted alongside Home and Away bad boy Jake Ryan, who you will see in The Great Gatsby. Following this, he directed and co-starred in his ninth directorial feature film, I Portrait, featuring Playboy centerfold Natalie Heslop. Nathan was asked to screen test for the role of Anakin Skywalker. His uncle, the late Michael Hill, was the chief carpenter on countless Australian productions, with the high point being their collaboration on Queen of the Damned. Nathan was rated one of Man Paper's sexiest men in 2009. Nathan was runner-up to play the villain opposite Nicolas Cage in The Knowing. He turned down a role to play Warwick Capper in a biopic, insisting the script was too long. Not once, but twice, he turned down the role to play serial killer Martin Bryant. Nathan was the sales agent for the movie I Am Bish, co-starring Sam Worthington and Pia Miranda, and Tin God, starring Whitney Duff in her feature film debut. He is an associate producer for Martin Copping's directorial debut, The Dunes. Nathan can be seen in the upcoming Debt Collector, in which he squares off with actor John Brumpton. He is the casting director for the movie Cult Girls, directed by Mark Bacatus.